I'm going to do two things tonight. I'm going to introduce you to a book, and I'm going to, intru I'm going to introduce you to a chapter of that book. The name of the book is Madly in Love Forever by Diane and Louis Denbell. It's available in ebook, MP3 download, or audio CD. One of the chapters in the book is chapter 12. It's called Control Freak No More. We teach through stories in our book. I happen to write the story in chapter 12. Before I tell the story, I want to introduce you to a part of me. I love this part of me. She serves me well most of the time. She makes me who I am. But occasionally, if I'm afraid, or I think you might not love me, or think I'm not doing it good enough, she'll rear her little head, her ugly little head. Here she is. Her name is Miss Good Girl Gertrude. <laughs> Here is what Good Girl Gertrude used to do in my first relationship, before I really knew anything, or at least practice anything. I may not know anything, but at least I practice now. Good girl Gertrude would come out when she was with her first husband, and you might have heard something like this. Anne, you know, when we're out at that party, don't tease Angela. I, I don't think she likes it. Ian, when we go visit my mom, we don't need to tell her how long we meditate. Ian, why when we go home to your parents, why do you jump on your mother's lap and act like an idiot? I don't think she likes that. <laughs> and so, get the picture? Okay. It didn't serve that marriage. It's just the part of me that later, after divorcing, I took a look at. Put Miss Gertrude down for a minute. Fast forward, now I'm married to Louis Denbaum. I have these tools I'm practicing with. Come with us. We'll go to the Pioneer basketball game with Lewis to watch Nofia play basketball. We'll go to the top of the bleachers, mm -hmm. and I'll be standing there with Lewis, who is so enthusiastic. He's leaning over the balcony with that loud, deep, projecting <laughs> voice. He has, go Pioneers! Go Pioneers! Defense! Defense! Get up, you parents! Come on! Cheer for those Pioneers! What are you students? Stop flirting! Get up! Cheer for those pioneers! <laughs> Go pioneers! He's having a ball. And I am too. But I can feel her. <laughs> Good girl Gertrude. Oh, she wants to tell Lewis to shut up. They don't like it. You know, anything. But here's what I do. Diane. Shh. Shh. Just let it, let him be. Let it be. You know, we don't have to be here. We don't have to come. We could go down to the other end of the bleachers. <laughs> and you know what, good girl Gertrude, you're not, you know, not everybody's going to like everything about you, your husband, whatever. So, shh. <laughs> and she did. I didn't say a word. The benefit of that was I felt really good inside, free. There was nothing I had to do or fix. I had a lot of energy just to enjoy the game. Mm -hmm. I invite you in your life to play detective for a week. Get out your magnifying glass and look for clues where you might be controlling someone or some situation. Now, maybe it's the good girl Gertrude in you or the looking good Larry or I've got to be right, Ron. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> for fun. <laughs> I, I'm not sure. But take a look. And after you've become aware, awareness is the big step, 
thin, <coughs> choose what you're going to do about it. Are you going to carry on and try to control people, so on and so forth, or not? I've introduced you to our ebook. I've told you about a chapter in our ebook. I chose control because it means a lot to me to see that 50% divorce rate drop to a much lower percentage. And I think that if couples stop trying to control each other, that will contribute 